Six months ago, we learned the euthanasia rate at the Kent County Animal Shelter was among the highest in the state. Just a short time later, the shelter supervisor resigned and the staff and volunteers were left to make changes. 13 on your side's Emma Nicholas joins us now to tell us how they helped transform the way the shelter works. Nick, I sat down with a woman tasked with leading the transformation. She says there's been a shift in their goals and it is showing in the numbers. Is that we can do better? It's been a trying six months as Kent County's environmental health director. Historically, haven't had the, the euthanasia rates that our county, our residents expect. Sarah Simmons says it's caused the team behind the Kent County Animal Shelter to shake up their process entirely. And how do we really reach out and be a resource to the community as opposed to the way many people perceive us as a punitive, um, fee-driven organization that prematurely ends animals' lives. It started with bringing in national and state advocates to point out areas in need of improvement. Support system by our animal welfare community that really brought us along. Since then, they've shifted their hours and are now preparing to open the shelter on Saturdays. Staff also started posting all dogs picked up by animal control on their Facebook page. Currently, we have some really, really dedicated employees that are doing it, and they're doing it out of the love of their heart and on their own personal time at times. Simmons says staff has been doing more with less for years. It needed somebody with fresh eyes to come in and look at it and say, I see what you're doing. You need more support. But one thing they can now rely on a team for is decisions made on euthanasia. Giving staff a voice, you know, and, and knowing that they're heard and they're not alone in this. Which has played a role in reducing the number of dogs and cats euthanized. Looking back, Simmons says it was never one person's fault. She says it's a system, one that they are now changing. I just got to lay it out there is I'm proud of where the animal shelter is going. I'm proud of the people that work here. Like I said, I can't speak to the past because I wasn't part of it, but I can tell you that the team that we have now is committed and they're really amazing people. And with amazing people, you can do amazing things for the animals. Simmons also wanted to clarify that they are looking for a volunteer coordinator so they can finally bring on more volunteers in addition to their core group of 20. And as far as finding a new supervisor, she says they're in the interview stages for that. Nick.